Hey guys, this is it. This is our first duel against Yugi Moto. So we're gonna actually duel him uh, a couple of times at least, but I think we'll get a boss battle duel similar to when we fought Merrick. You won't find me an easy opponent. I'm Dan Green. If you're wise, you'll hit me with everything you've got. All right, Spellboy, let's do it. All right, so Yugi's letting us go second. This is our first duel against the main man himself. And let's see how this goes. He's the last opponent before the extra opponents. He's gonna be pretty tough. Ooh, lots of spells. Uh, so, I made a couple adjustments to the deck. I added, I took out Judge Man, and I took out Trap Master, and I added Cyberjar. Cyberjar, really good, uh, especially if he puts a bunch of cards out there. Uh, we have Dimension Warrior, we have Mechanical Chaser, or I have Mechanical Chaser. I'm gonna play. Oh, okay. So he's got a Magic Jammer. Good, made him discard a card. I, I always look for the, I always look on the bright side. Maybe that's just me. I'll see if he'll sacrifice something and attack the Dimension Warrior. Perfect, kinda. Kinda perfect. Kinda good. Well, get that out of play then. You love to see it. Ugh. Fine, just graceful your charities then. God, he's really going in on this. Oh, and I put a heavy storm in my deck. Uh, okay. Uh, let's... Let's see here. We're gonna play that, and we're gonna play our own swords. It's funny to have the swords duel. But that'll flip whatever that is. Big shield Gardna. Okay, cool. Big shield Gardna is alright. Why would he? Okay. Look, man. You don't know. You don't know when all of a sudden that thing is gonna be put in uh, defense mode or attack. Uh, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But all right, we're gonna get rid of this other trap because I'm not too worried about the swords. It wasn't a trap, was it? Was it Sebek's blessing? I hope it was Sebek's blessing. Oh, it was MST. Okay, fine. Uh, he had an MST and didn't use it. Alright, we're gonna put Cyberjar down, because Cyberjar will- he'll, he'll pile on the monsters, and then Cyberjar will destroy them. And, okay. That's a bunch of stuff you got there. Uh, alright. And we're gonna go in real quick, we're gonna go hard, and we're gonna flip- oh, no, no. No, we're not. We're not gonna flip anything. We're gonna make him- choose for himself. Why did he put the big shield garden on attack mode? What is wrong with you? Look at that free damage I just got on your 100 attack monster. It has 2600 defense, which granted is really good, but when it gets attacked it goes into attack mode. But he didn't have to put it into attack mode is all I'm saying. And now he's getting rid of all these monsters, but he is in uh, they, he is in his battle phase, so they are going to get some free shots at us if we don't get enough good ones. Change of heart, Buster Blader, big shield Gardna. Karibo. <laughs> oh, that means it can't use Karibo for its thing it's meant for. Uh, okay. Which is discarding from your hand in order to uh, <laughs> uh, prevent life point damage. Now you're gonna get summoned skull. Yeah. Like what else? What else do you do with that thing? Okay. Um. Put Solemn Judgment down to stop that Summon Skull if he summons it. And we're gonna defeat that Karibo. I'm not gonna attack the Big Shield Gardener because that's just a lot of lost, pointless life points. But Karibo's gone, so that is a little bit of a safety net gone for him. He's gonna summon the Summon Skull, and I'm gonna use Solemn Judgment on it. Yeah, okay. Hit me, Yugi. Hit me. Hit me with what you got. This is the Yugi video. We may duel Yugi more than twice. It might be a long one, but I want to uh, actually have it feel like a technical penultimate final boss. Pit penultimate boss, I guess. Penultimate final is kind of oxymoronic. Uh, okay. So I play Gravekeeper Servant. I'm, I'm having to catch myself. I'm having to catch myself from saying Serpent. They should make a Gravekeeper Servant card. Probably one of the Pharaoh's Servant cards. <sighs> Stop it. And then we're gonna battle phase. You know, I've had a lot of fun doing this. There's other 
games with more cards that I could do, and a lot of cards that are really fun, like a lot of the Pharaoh Servant cards. I, I loved that set. That set was so cool. Pharaoh Servant, Magician's Force, and, um... Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of Pharaonic Guardian. But yeah, Pharaonic Guardian, Magician's Force, and Pharaoh Servant. I do like Pharaoh Servant. That's the one that has Jinzo in it. How could I not? Um, are, like, probably my favorite sets they released. What was the set? Oh, Labyrinth of Nightmare was the set after... Nah, I don't like that one as much. But, yeah, we... There's a lot of sets that I really enjoyed. And... Some of them, like this game doesn't go past Pharaoh's Servant with a few exceptions for like promotional cards, like cards that would later be promotional. They were obviously in. All of the booster packs are with, oh, yeah, another Karibo, that bastard. Um, all the booster packs in this game are basically real Japanese booster packs as they were released because they had less cards in them and more frequent releases. Uh, no. We're not, we're not doing this. Uh, okay. Giant Soldier of Stone, you get out of here. We're, we're, no, you don't get to do that. Change of Heart, no! Don't know, but your card! <laughs> your card, friend! What are you doing? Well, I didn't get him the win, for sure. And just for kicks, I'm going to Nobleman it. Because I love doing that. Get out of here, Alpha the Magnet, Magnet, Magnet. But yeah, all the sets in this game, the packs are real, like, they mirror real packs from the real world from Japan. So, they, they don't mirror real world packs for us, because our packs had more cards. Like, they basically had fewer sets and more cards in each set. Very good! When next we play, I'll work with my partner, the Dark Magician, to build... Oh, he means... No, he means Yugi. Ah, whatever. Another heavy storm, another cyber jar, nice. Okay, I think I'm good on those packs. I keep wanna I wanna like keep pounding the relinquished ones. Anyway, next Yugi duel. Let's get it. Alright, we're going second. Love going second. It is fun to go first sometimes with the amount of setup I have in this deck though. Hmm, he discarded a magic card. I love when cards are discarded. I just I'm all about that life. And speaking of cards being discarded, time for Graceful Charity time. Uh, mm, okay. I'm gonna play another Graceful Charity, just... I mean, I'm, I'm basically milling my own deck now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Right something to attack the cyber jar. Oh, Chorus of Sanctuary, what? Oh god, that's blinding. <laughs> what can I do with that? No. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so he has a cyber jar too now. I guess it doesn't really matter then. I should have thought about that before I played that, but you know, you can only jar so many cybers. Well, we got a lot of cards, but I've got a dark hole just in case. Um, oh, he, oh, he sacked it. Oh, he sacked it. Oh, he sacked it for Buster Blader. Oh no, Yugi baby, what is you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? There, it's gone. Why'd you sack Cyber Jar for that? You had, you had the thing you needed to stop me. <laughs> And, uh, we're just gonna do this. Yeah, Heavy Storm is great. I'm glad I finally got one, because we can just destroy every one of those he has. And ours, but that's okay. And we're going to the battle phase. This is not, you know, not not a great look, Yugi. You, uh, for King of Games, you sure, <laughs> you sure suck. Sometimes we're gonna we're gonna like get into a big losing streak against him, but our deck is pretty solid in general again It has no specific theme. We're just kind of a cookie deck We will get specific themes once I'm sure we have the right cards and I'm trying out various things like my my mill deck thing is experimental 
Ah, we just threw out Heavy Storm. We got Giant True Nade in the deck still, though. So let's see if we can draw it. We sure can't. <laughs> cool. All right, that's good. Um, oh, we could just we could just go ham. We could just we could just go wreck him. He might have put Mirror Force down, but well, nope, nope. He sure didn't. We sure win. All right, another. All right, round three against Yugi. Let's see if my uh, Gravekeeper strategy gets to be super awesome or not. I am, I am really hopeful. I mean, you could just have Heavy Storm, and I could just have Heavy Storm, but uh, we got a little bit of cross out. We're gonna hit his thing with it and see what we get. See what we get out of it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, that's very good. That is spectacular, even, because now he never gets the benefit of that thing. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't risking it. Oh, come on, Yugi, come on, risk it, come on. Come on, be a pal. Alright, there he goes. Yes. Yes, build two cards with every attack. And then five, five of them. I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's like a thrill that I can't really explain. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be okay with this. Uh, we're gonna destroy the Gemini Elf and make him attack the Penguin Soldier with Gazelle. Yep. Cool. <laughs> now I can send them both back up to his hand. Good, we got rid of a bunch of his traps there. And he don't he got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got another Gemini Elf to be able to tower over Battle Ox next turn, but at the rate that he's shedding cards, it's uh not looking so hot. Not looking so hot. I drew both Gravekeeper Serpents on the first turn. Oh But yeah, like man. Yugi's not too bad. He's got some interesting cards. It's definitely, definitely kind of fun to duel him. I love having all these bait cards. Like it's, I hope it's fun to be a part of this. Ah, man. Well, at least it's on my turn, so I'm attacking. I could theoretically annihilate him just, just on this turn with all the stuff that I get. So all good. Karibo. Big Shield Gardener, ah, Change of Heart, Monster Reborn, Valkyria and the Magnet Warrior, crap. Wait, that's the Big Shield Gardener, damn it! Okay, well this is what happens when you attack the Big Shield Gardener. You take a lot of damage, and then it flips to attack mode. And I'm now going to take advantage of that and attack with the Gemini Elf. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna make phase two. We're gonna play Solemn Judgment just in case he uses one of those cards to good effect. Next time, Karibo ain't got nothing, and that's something. And we got a trap hole though. <laughs> you love to see it. Ooh, he had to discard three cards. Ooh, how about discarding more? Do it. Do it. Discard more cards. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And this should get us the win. Unless that's a mirror force, which would be kind of funny. Nope. Okay. That's a win. Alright, Yuki, what do you got? Okay, that makes 20 wins against Umbra and Loomis. Let's see what we get for this. Ooh, Metalogs pack. I think that's just a combination of several existing ones. Honestly, kind of uh, disappointing. On to the next one. Ten times! Ten times! Ah! God is really having a bad time. And that's 20 wins against Merrick. Let's see what we get from Merrick. Merrick has a pack that I've been really looking forward to, because it has a card that we need in order to unlock something later. 
And the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon pack. Let's see what we get. Eh, yeah, Performance of the Sword. Oh, and the and the ritual card for performance of the sword. Nice. Um Megamorph. Megamorph is pretty good. <laughs> so it it has a drawback, but it's honestly really strong. Like if you're running behind and you play a blue eyes ultimate dragon and play Megamorph on it and attack directly, you just auto win. So, you know. And there's ten wins against strings. Which means that's the last of uh, tier 3 that we have. Why, how? Let's reinforce deck. And that means that we get a new pack, the Black Luster Soldier pack. And we get... wow. So, well, that would be surprising, but this pack only has ritual cards and ritual monsters in it. Including this one, the best ritual monster in the game. I mean, best, but ritual monsters are kind of gimmicky. But we'll try one out in a little bit, just to, just to show it off. Alright. And with that, we have five losses on Shadi. So, with that said, let's do our final battle with Yugi. Uh, oh, and if this, I probably brought this up already, but I got the 20 from, I, I already, I already covered this. Okay, so with that, let's open a pack. We're gonna still, still looking for something that's in this pack. And uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, but it is time for the final battle with Yugi. Because that will allow us to go to tier 5, which is where we really want to be. Dueling starts from the deck building. If you have the heart for it, there's no hope for victory. You tell me, Dan Green. You tell me good. Alright. Final duel with Yugi. I don't know if it's a 2, at least final until we need to farm him for stuff. But anyway, the final duel to actually unlock tier 5 is now. And I would like to make sure that it is extra good. Put that back up there. Gonna play Gravekeeper Serpent. God, I will I will keep saying Gravekeeper Serpent until the end of time, clearly. And I wanna cross out this guy. Yeah, get that out of play. I don't know what you are. Ooh, Gemini Elf. Okay, that's a nice thing to get out of play. Sorry, Yug. You don't get to do that. And put that down, and play our own Gemini Elf. See, everybody uses, like, cookie cutter. They basically are doing what I'm doing, well, most people. Then you have, like, Strings and Rare Hunter, who literally just uses Exodia. He is... So, So by the way, my milling strategy, it uh, is super easy to beat Rare Hunter. I mean, it already was, but he, like, can't do anything, because as soon as I start taking cards off his deck, he loses his win condition, and it's like, oh no. Like, what do I even do? <laughs> so, you know. Ah, Mirror Force, crap. Oh, I got one of those. I meant to put that in my deck. Ah, jeez. Well, we'll do that for Tier 5. Mirror Force is kind of a staple in any deck. Okay. Well, that was weird. What a strange turn. And Needle Worm. Let's get rid of some cards. Sorry, Yugi. See, nowadays that's not quite as strong because there's so much emphasis on... Uh, pulling stuff out of the graveyard, then it's hard to um, really think Needle Worms would be good. But at this early stage in the game, like, taking cards off of your deck and sending them straight to the graveyard is pretty, especially five of them, is basically a death sentence for many, many cards. Because you get monster, one monster reborn, you get one premature burial, uh, there's very few recycling cards at this point in time, you know. But, uh, Yugi, come on, you need to put up a bigger fight for our final battle. I mean, he doesn't even- he didn't even pull out the Yami this time. And probably gonna make me eat those words. Oh, he just wanted to slap the Needle Worm around. Fine. Guess I'll win. Sorry, Yugi. Oh, this the music- the music is kind of a bop, though. Alright, this is gonna be best two of three. But let's find out. Alright, Yugi. That's all you got. Me? Five losses? This isn't funny anymore. I think it's time I play a little more seriously. Oh, I guess we are done. Uh, okay. Let's open this up. Still no. Alright. Hey, there are new duelists in the house. Verify the info. Yes, thank you, Joey. Uh, can I go? Oh, I can't go. Can't cycle back. But this is the much sought after, slightly hidden tier five. 
There's only one duelist on here, and there are currently no unlocks. Um, there are no there are no unlocks we get from beating people on this tier. It'll just be a matter of fighting them. The three unknowns we have to unlock individually, and the dual computer is able to be fought. But in the next part, we will uh, we will actively play against the dual computer and try to and I'll explain what it takes to unlock the rest of these guys. See you guys then.